So I will read the questions and uh, which of the following statement is true for a firm that uses variable costing. Variable costing means that as the sales varies, cost of goods sold also varies. No worries. You know when when uh, when we should use variable costing when there is a fluctuation in the sale because you know when it's a fluctuation cost will also fluctuate. So if you are using fixed cost, fixed cost will remain fixed and so it will not give you a right trend. Right trend is sale versus cost of goods sold. Very. So he says which of the following statement is true for a firm that use variable costing? Answer is profits fluctuate with the sales. It was the sales will fluctuate because cost of sale is dependent. So gross profit will also change. If you see all other options, cost of a unit of product changes because of the changes in number of unit manufacturing. Actually cost of a per unit variable cost become fixed. You know fixed cost goes down per unit because as you make more units, you, the per unit will be lower, right? So this is wrong. An ideal facility variation is calculated. This is useless. And product costs include variable administrative cost, which is again wrong because absorption costing take variable uh, fixed uh, expenditures. A variable costing does not take the administrative cost as product cost. As I show you the diagram, mm -hmm. product cost or variable means DM, DL and variable over. Right. Variable manufacturing units. When a firm prepares financial reports by using absorption cost, right? fixed cost plus variable cost, profit may decrease with increased sales. As you know, as you know, the, the slide I showed you when the production exceeds sales and the vice versa. Right? That is a slide related here. He says Profit may decrease with increased sales even there is no change in selling price and cost because fixed cost is there. Fixed cost is affecting your profitability. Right? If it is variable cost, then no problem. That's why he said when a firm prepares financial report by using absorption, because fixed cost is there, so your profit might be affected. Whatever increase, decrease you will put in the sales. Which method of inventory costing treats direct material and manufacturing overhead both variable and fixed? Absorption. So C is the right answer, absorption costing. So some questions are like this, was based on your concept. Some are little tricky. And third kind of question is calculate. The difference between sale price and total variable cost is contribution margin. This I made it somewhere here. GP and CM contribution. Because when the question part will come, uh, this kind of things will be helping. Like, you know, I will show you one. Okay. Which of the following statement is true regarding absorption, costing, and variable? He says if the finished good inventory increase, same slide. If the finished good inventory will increase, absorption results in higher return. Right? He says the contribution margin is the excess of revenue, all variable cost. He is just asking in English other way the formula. You know, it's the excess over means this minus this revenue over. J pays bonuses to its managers based on operating. Right? Means as the income comes, based on that he pays. So income goes down, bonus goes down, income goes up, very The company uses absorption cost, means fixed cost plus and overhead is applied on the basis of Direct labor hours means 
that what is the direct labor hours they will charge same as overheads. So variable overheads will the overheads will be charged based on that. He says to increase bonuses. And if you want to increase the bonus, obviously we have to increase the direct labor hours. Because direct labor hour will increase the overheads also. Right? This is how it goes. He says to increase bonus, J manager may do all except means he should not do what? He should not play with the direct labor hours. Right? So decrease production of those items requiring the most direct labor hour will decrease the bonuses. You know, because so he should not do anything, he should not decrease the direct labor hours because it will decrease the bonus. This is the question. Okay, then we have a simple, simplest question in the world. If if J uses variable cost, always when you see a question, because if I read from here, it will be a newspaper. I don't know what I am going to answer, right? So always I should read the first, last line to see what he is asking for. He is asking for if J uses variable costing what is the cost of inventory now variable costing means dm dl and variable overheads right okay so let's take he give you prime cost prime cost a by formula is equal to dm direct material plus d right so one okay this is relevant we need it then the next is variable manufacturing Overheads. This is we need. We are using which costing? Variable. Should we take fixed? No. No. Should we take variable selling no. and other? When we should take? Total cost. When it says total cost by using variable cost, then we will take. No, in this case, we will. Fixed selling and other expenses? No. So only these two is 900,000, that is the answer, right? This is all. Okay, then he says, same question, he says using absorption, costing, what is inventorable cost? No problem. We know fixed cost plus variable cost, but he is talking about only inventory, right? So we cannot take fixed selling and other We can only take fixed and selling when? Total. 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 When he says total, right? So one question you can see from 10 of 20 angles, and we can, you know, we can ask from. For example, this question I can solve in any way. I can calculate prime cost, conversion cost, cost per unit by using absorption by variable, inventory cost by absorption, inventory cost by variable cost. If you can start looking questions in this way. Any question comes to you, you know how to solve it, right? Don't confine yourself only to this requirement. Uh, it's a learning session, so learn with an open mind. If this happens, how to learn. So, okay, take DM, take, sorry, take, because prime cost is given, DM and DL is this. Take variable manufacturing, fixed manufacturing, right? So, what is the total? Is 1060. So he gave you some information like DM, DL, variable manufacturing, right? Fixed manufacturing, variable selling, fixed selling, variable administrative, fixed. Now I told you, first of all, you should know what is absorption cost. Fixed plus variable, right? Then you should know what is product cost and what is payment cost. I mean, what is the cost of goods sold? He can ask two things. Cost of goods sold, he can ask the total, total cost. But th this is a focus point is cost of goods sold, only manufacturing. Total cost, then I have to take all. Yeah, okay. For example, he says value of actual ending finished good inventory on absorption cost. Right. So he gave you some information like DM, DL, variable manufacturing, right? Fixed manufacturing, variable selling, fixed selling, 
variable administrator fixed. Now I told you, first of all, you should know what is absorption cost. Fixed plus variable. Right? Then you should know what is product cost and what is period cost. I mean, what is the cost of goods sold? He can ask two things. Cost of goods sold, he can ask the total cost. Now this question he said actual ending finished food inventory. Now he is talking about only inventory. No, no selling and administrative can be the part of ending inventory. Right? So ideally what we should take DM, DL, variable manufacturing, 